Over 500 mine workers remain underground at Gold One's East Modern Mine in Johannesburg. They are reportedly refusing to resurface until their union, AMCU, is recognized. But the National Union of Mine Workers says its members are being held against their will. ENCA's Mafedile Moirani is there for us and as she joins us uh, this morning. Mafedile, a, a very good morning to you. What is the state of affairs at the mine today and which members are actually underground? AMCU says it's their members. NUM says it's their members. What is the situation? Well, Tammy, mixed emotions that we are gathering on the ground. What we understand, the workers are saying to us that those who are underground, they are there willingly. There's no one who has been held hostage as the reports are coming out. They are saying that all of them, they are AMCU workers. This particular uh, shaft, we understand, it employs 1,800 workers and 1,700 are AMCU affiliates. So they are dismissing the reports that people are held uh, against their will underground, as the report is saying. But at this point, I mean, the security has actually been tightened. Uh, when we arrived here at the main entrance, we were denied access as the media, but then we found a way to come where the workers are gathering. If you look there, we also see the South African police service members and also the private security. Um, I can identify three different private securities that are here at Gold One, uh, Gold One Mine, um, Moda East Operations. So the workers are actually saying that they're only going to come out uh, or resurface only after the demands are met, after the mine sign a document where it allows AMCO to be the representative. But at this point, let me be um, joined by one of the workers here, Musa Kalipa. Mr. Kalipa, thank you so much for joining us. I see you have been uh, bringing some food for, for the workers um, who are said to be underground. What is the status quo? What are they saying? When are they coming out? I'll hold for you. Okay. At the moment, uh, as we just bought our food for our, our members, we bought for the food for those members who are in surface for now. Then later on, if, we, uh, if, if the, mine, the mine is still not pro, uh, providing any food, then we have no choice. Then we're going have, to have to buy food and send it to, to the management. If, if they want to, to take it down, it's up to them. Even the medication is up to them for them to take it down. But now what is happening? Uh, none of our members are going to come out from underground unless we go to the Ocrides. That's the situation that we are. But then there are reports that you are holding NUM members hostage. Why? Why is that so? Is it true? That's, that's, super, that's, super, that's a super lie. Because, okay, as, as, now we know the A&B is 1,800. Now the plant is running. If the plant is running, who's running the plant? Because now we have 1,700 members under, under the name of AMCO. The management knows that one, as Mr. Mr. Liso and the legal team that was there in the CCMA, even the, from the first time in the sitting at Cold One, they know that, they are, that number. The first number that you submitted, you submitted to 1,200. Then the number escalated upwards. After they saw the um, AMCO region, that's when the, the, the number went up. So at the status quo as it remains now, people are underground. We're getting reports that there are those uh, who have injured. What do you say about that? Uh, about those who are injured, I, don't, I didn't see anyone injured. Mm. I never get any, any notification that there was someone injured. But if I knew one of our members was injured, then I was going to answer that one. So at this stage, what is happening? How far are the negotiations uh, with the management? What is the management saying? Because you're saying that the only time the workers resurface is when the management has signed to allow you uh, as AMCU in the mine. Yes, okay. But now uh, I just spoke to, my, to the region and the national. Now they, they say they're in, they're busy here in five to ten minutes. I think they are already in, but I'll check with them. Then I'll give the, I'll give the, the exact answer. But the negotiation is when I started from, from there. We were supposed to start at 8 o'clock to go and finish for what, what, what happened yesterday. But at the moment, we are still standing in one thing. Let's say we're not going anywhere. We're not going backwards. We're not going forward until we get the upgrades. That's the only thing.
Well, thank you so much, Musa Kalipa. He is the representative here, Tami. As we see the situation on the ground, the workers continue to trickle in. Um, you know, this is the shift that was expected to resume work uh, yesterday morning. So the shift that is currently, the, the workers who are currently underground are those who started work on Sunday. And yesterday morning, they refused um, to resurface. And we understand also at this point in time, those who are outside, including the leadership of AMCO workers, have submitted a memorandum of demands to the mine leadership at this point in time. So we are still going to be on the ground to see and hear from the mine as to what is the conclusion workers in particular point. Um, I'm hoping, Bafedile, before you go, I'm hoping that the NUM representative is still there. Because earlier, or rather the AMCO representative is still there, because earlier on we spoke to Mr. Mueli from the NUM and he said to us that the reason why AMCO is not being recognized as a union is because they haven't followed the requisite procedures and process. And he cited Section 26. So he says there's no way uh, that, that AMCO can actually be recognized as a union at the mine because they simply haven't gone through the processes. What is uh, AMCO's reaction to that? Okay, l let me engage you, Rem Kalipi. Have you followed Section 26? Have you followed all the processes with uh, regard, uh, regarding your recognition in the mine? Yeah, we, follow, we follow all, 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 all everything we, we did by the book. Which steps have you taken? The first time, um, the region of AMCO written a letter to come and sit down with um, Gold One to come and ask about uh, if there is a toy shop or not. Then after that, the, um, I still remember, if, if I still remember when, the, uh, it was um, Mrs. Ross, the, the legal advisor. It was um, Mr. Liso, the uh, HR manager was there. Even the minutes are there. I can even ask uh, the, the region to come and give you those minutes. 